And technology has been a very uh, central plank of your platform in this race for a, a chairperson. And you've talked a lot about technology out there on the trail, particularly when you visited New Jersey. Uh, I know our audience appreciates the importance of technology in galvanizing the grassroots because they're reading this blog and they're going to be listening to this interview. So maybe you could elaborate a little bit and tell our listeners exactly what you plan to do as chair to move Republicans into the 21st century. Sure, and I, and I love that language. That is exactly what we need to do. We are in the 21st century. There's no getting out of it for the next 91 years, <laughs> and we need to right. fight our war here. The Republican Party has been trying to fight the 21st century war with 20th century weapons, and it's failed us. And so, as you mentioned, one of the... Um, one of the things at the core of, of the next level campaign is technology. I want to make it clear, though, that technology is not an end unto itself. Technology is not the goal of the young Republicans. It's not the goal of the next level campaign. It shouldn't be the goal of the Republican Party. Technology is only a tool, a resource, even a weapon to help communicate the messages uh, that we want to communicate to the right audiences in the right way. And so as a, as, a, uh, as a foundation underlying our technology efforts, we need to have the right messages that are going to appeal to people. And then um, as, as we look to reach out, what the next level campaign is focusing on is, is not just using, um, using the tools that are at our, at our uh, fingertips, tools like Twitter and, and Facebook and and having Web 2.0 websites, uh, these are all things that, that, should we be elected, um, will be absolutely revolutionized in terms of the Young Republican National Federation's online outreach efforts. Um, we're also focused on innovating new technologies. Folks on my team have already been doing this, uh, innovating new websites like thisismyparty.org, which is a, a web video-based online grassroots outreach effort to help find new young people who don't identify as Republican and tell them why we do identify on a very personal level, why individuals around the country do identify as Republicans. Another member of my team created a website called whyournetwork.com, which has, you know, again, caught the grassroots on fire. Um, we have thousands of, of users around the country. He calls it the Facebook of the Republican Party to help take these tools that exist and put them into, into use specifically for the Republican Party, for the young Republicans to achieve our specific goals. Bringing things down from the national level to here at the state level in New Jersey, as you are more than well aware, we have a huge race coming up in the fall. Uh, between John Corzine and, according to the latest polling data, likely Chris, Christopher Christie, our former U.S. attorney. What do you plan to do if you win to reach out to young Republicans and help empower them to take back New Jersey? I am an election animal by nature. From my, my first days in, uh, in electoral politics when I was in college volunteering for candidates like Mitt Romney when he ran for governor in Massachusetts, John Sununu when he ran for uh, for Senate in New Hampshire. Um, I've done the work of, of grassroots political campaigns around the country, and now from my um, my current home here in Washington, D.C., have, have coordinated nationwide deployment efforts around the country for the young Republicans. The elections coming up in 2009 are a huge part of the reason why I decided to run for national chairman of the Young Republicans. I don't want to wait till 2010 to start the, the comeback of the Republican Party. I think that we'll make gains in the House in 2010. I think that there are good things for the Republican Party on the horizon then. But in Virginia and New Jersey, we have an opportunity now to start rebuilding this party to start winning elections again, and I'm confident that we're going to do it in the governors, with the governorships in both states. Um, folks in New Jersey should, should care about this election uh, before your real elections coming up in, this fall for just that reason. Um, from the very beginning of my candidacy, I made it clear that my first priority, I made a commitment to young Republicans in Virginia and New Jersey, that my first priority uh, would be focusing on helping them with the tools and resources and volunteers and web videos 
and technologies that they need uh, to help take back their states. We're not going to wait. We're going to start right away. Should we be elected, it will be on July 11th. And uh, July 12th, we will hit the ground running, uh, laying the groundwork along with YRs in New Jersey and Virginia, helping galvanize support from around the south, from around the northeast, uh, to pour into your states and, uh, and help take back, help take back uh, the races that we've lost in recent years. The final thing I'll ask you is something I ask everybody we talk to nationally. I'll put you on the spot. You visited New Jersey uh, several times during the course of this campaign. Uh, what's your favorite thing about New Jersey? Oh, there are so many. Um, I do love New Jersey. I've, I've spent a lot of time there with this campaign. I've taken, I think, three trips up now. What I love is that every person that I meet is absolutely fundamentally dedicated to taking back your state this fall. And it inspires me uh, as the candidate for national chairman who wants to help you all do that. I do like the diners as well, so I'll put that as a, uh, as a close second if that's all right. No, I think that's probably our greatest asset. That and the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, thanks so much for talking to us today, and we wish you all the best. And I guess finally, before I, before I let you go, maybe just remind us one more time, if, if someone's listening to this and they're inspired to learn more about your campaign or maybe help you or support you or assist you in any way, how can they go about doing that? They can check us out at, on the web at yrnextlevel.com. They can find us on Facebook and Twitter and YR Network, but our website is absolutely the best way to, to plug in, learn, a, learn more about myself, about the other candidates on my team, learn about how to become a delegate to the National Convention in Indianapolis this summer. If you're a Republican between the ages of 18 and 40, we'd love to have you uh, in Indianapolis July 8th or 12th. And, um, and if folks want to support our campaign financially, there's also a link to contribute there on the website. Rachel Hoff, candidate for Young Republican National Federation Chairperson, thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. Looking forward to working with you to help save Jersey.